to talk and I talk and I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up! They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! Starts now. In my eyes, Jose's gone running. If he wants to come back, he can come back, but I swear to God, his day will come. All right, start around one Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor. Here we go. Whoa! He knocks out Jose Aldo! has always wanted to be a multiple division world champion. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts to take out. If anyone can do it, it's me. You're blessed that I chose you. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your ass next. Champion. I dreamed into reality. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. God bless. Well, most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title. But against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenger. For Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. Where you at, Big Nugget? All right, coming up next, it's... And now our kill. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, well, great to see... This rivalry get underway here tonight as we get going with round one. A lot of buzz on social media, of course, for Conor McGregor v. Tony Ferguson. Ferguson shouting from the rooftops, defend or vacate. Conor McGregor defending his UFC lightweight championship here tonight. Uh, with a lot of different expectations and philosophies as to how these fighters were going to approach this fight here tonight. Conor McGregor's going to try to test that chin of Tony Ferguson. We have seen lesser strikers than McGregor find their range against Ferguson, and Conor believes if he lands the money shot here tonight, it could be good night for El Kukui. The other side. Ferguson's endurance, his cardio, the stuff of legend. Let's see if he can extend McGregor into deep water. Into the ladder rounds here tonight and try to take advantage of his edge and grab. Full guard. Oh. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Kick lands. Wow, what a kick. Went for the head kick. McGregor going for the leg kick. He misses. El Kukui gets hit with a kick. Good shots by the champion. Another powerful leg kick from McGregor. Yes, Joe, I would agree with you there. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. McGregor gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh. 
Under two minutes to go. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Nice. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Nice kick there by Ferguson. And he lands the hook. Oh! Oh, McGregor's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Head kick. Nice punch by McGregor. Switching stances here. Here. McGregor gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Nice hammer fist. Five minutes in the books. Five minutes in the can, here is round two. Entertaining start to this one between Conor McGregor and Tony El Cucuy first. This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's gonna win, but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. Kick to the body is there. He's a, a nice right hand. Hand speed, man. Ferguson's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Oh, spinning back fist. And he eats a kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. And there's a takedown attempt. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice left, left kick to the body. Oh! Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Effective use of the jab there by McGregor. Blocks the shot.
Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He avoids the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Ferguson. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Ferguson gets caught by the inside leg. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Nice punch there by McGregor. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Hit him with that straight left there. 15 seconds. Ferguson gets caught by the inside leg. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. Here's a very exciting. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, 10 minutes in the book. Here we go, round three. Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. All right, so the next round is underway here. We set off the top. This was very good matchmaking, evenly matched fighters, and that's exactly how it played out in the last round, which was very good. Not outstanding, but high-level MMA action on both sides. We'll see if one fighter can take control here. Ferguson's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Good work from the top here by McGregor. He's posturing up here. Nice shot to the head. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by McGregor. And he lands a hammer fist. He postures into place. Just over three minutes to go. Hammer fists blocked. Good control, postures up. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. up and lands a devastating head strike there, Joe. He's all over him now. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Postures up. Big shot. Perfectly timed sweep. Excellent movement here on the ground. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by McGregor. Got his back here. Mounts again. Oh, strong punch there by Ferguson. Excellent posture. He scrambles back to his feet. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Effective punch there by Ferguson. Oh! Oh, he missed with that wow. right hand. Oh. 10 seconds to go here, let's see what happens. Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, ready. folks. Some thought we wouldn't get here. We have arrived at the championship rounds, round four, here and now, between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. All right, fourth 
sixth round is underway, and now is where you really see what a fighter is made of, Joe Rogan. These championship rounds can certainly test the endurance. Both fighters have had their moments through 15 minutes. Who can dig deep and find the strength to get the finish here in these championship rounds? Oh, nice right hook, too. Back and forth we go! Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Just remarkable how Ferguson's chin holds up with all of these big shots. Oh, how clean is that jab by Ferguson? Well, the strike lands, but he is visibly fatigued, Joe, and as such, not doing a whole lot of damage at this point in the fight. The cut on his face is getting nasty. Swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Spinning back fist! McGregor gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Just out of range with the big right hand. Ooh, blocks the oh, shot. Oh, Looks oh, like it did stop a little bit. Him. He's hurt bad. Ferguson out on his feet! Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And the fighters now separate as the action continues. that takedown defense looked like the slam was there not tonight McGregor gets in the clinch yet again and now oh. he's got the title wow. this could be it oh very nice that shot blocked by Ferguson single here. McGregor gets the takedown here late in the round. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand. Wow! That is it! Oh, that's the end of the fight. Conor McGregor has done it. Do you believe it? He finishes Tony Ferguson here tonight. Yet another highlight for the real, for the notorious Conor McGregor. He came in undisputed, and he makes a major statement by dusting Tony Ferguson here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's take a look at that again. Here it is one more time. I mean, just stiff. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So all smiles as usual inside that octagon for Team McGregor as Conor gets belted here tonight as he successfully defends his UFC lightweight championship against Tony Ferguson. He had a lot of people picking Ferguson in this matchup here tonight. Once again...
All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and to say he has put Dublin, Ireland on the MMA map has got to be the understatement of the century. McGregor has vaulted in... All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter, and certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man, and even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This guy's an excellent grappler. What he wants to do here is get this fight, maybe press his opponent up against the cage, bring the fight to the ground, use his ground and pound and his submission skills. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters, 29 years of age. McGregor will have the four-inch reach advantage. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. All right, here we go. Will we crown it? Oh. Whoa! Body kick, look at that. Oh, oh he might be out. Nurmagomedov's doing a nice job pummeling. Oh! Oh! He's hurt! Oh! And just like that, the fight's over! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, we're just getting going, and there's the end of the fight.